Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Footloose is a 1984 musical drama film that was directed by Herbert Ross. It's a classic tale of teenage rebellion. When teenager Wren McCormick and his family move from big city Chicago to a small town, he's in for a real case of culture shock. Though he tries really hard to fit in, the streetwise Wren can't quite believe he's living in a place where rock music and dancing are illegal. But in this town, there's one small pleasure, and that's Ariel Moore, who's a troubled but lovely blonde with a jealous boyfriend. In the town, there's a Bible-thumping minister who is responsible for keeping the town dance-free. Wren and his classmates want to do away with the ordinance that the town has, especially since the senior prom is just around the corner. But only Wren has the courage to initiate a battle to abolish this outmoded ban and revitalize the spirit of the repressed townspeople. The Footloose story was based by writer Dean Pitchford on a real town. It's fairly loosely based on Elmore City, a town in Oklahoma known for the saying, If the South is the Bible Belt, then we are the buckle of it. Dancing was really outlawed in this place until juniors at the local high school asked to allow dancing at their prom. The characters of Ariel, Wren, and the Reverend are all real-life people that existed in this Oklahoma town. Some of the residents of this area didn't like the movie and felt like it was an exaggeration that was done strictly for Hollywood uses. But it was based on truth. The dancing feet that you see in the opening credit sequence contained many of the cast and crew. Over 150 pairs of feet were shot for this sequence. The dancer that you see with the gold shoes was actually Kenny Loggins. None of the stars of the film were professional dancers. Lori Singer, Kevin Bacon, Sarah Jessica Parker, Chris Penn, and John Lithgow were not dancers at all. Although Singer and Parker at least had some musical experience under their belt, Singer was in the TV show Fame from 1982, and Sarah Jessica Parker starred in Annie on Broadway. Kevin Bacon was offered the lead role for the movie Christine from 1983 at the same time that he was asked to screen test for this movie. The producers had to convince Bacon that turning down this sure role in Christine for a part that he might not even get in Footloose was the wiser choice. The producers told him that if he got the part in Footloose, the role would make him a star. 30 seconds into the screen test, Bacon was offered the part. And then he had to fight to keep it because one of the producers said he wasn't sexy enough to headline a youth-oriented movie like this. It took Herbert Ross weeks of pleading and various new screen tests to change the producer's mind. But it did work, and the rest is complete Hollywood history. With the real-life principal's knowledge, 24-year-old Kevin Bacon attended Payson, Utah High School as Wren McCormick, who was a transfer student from Philadelphia. With his narrow tie and new wave haircut, he was treated pretty much like he was in the film. He didn't stay in the school very long, Matter of fact, he left that afternoon after he had kind of learned what he needed for the role. He based his hairstyle on Rocker Sting's spiky hairdo because he was a big fan of the police at that time. As a matter of fact, he mentioned the band in one of the scenes. At one point during filming, he broke out in hives around his midsection when they were shooting the city council scene. He felt like this was due to the fact that he was really uncomfortable speaking in public. 
But oddly enough, he's never had a recurrence of these hives. The scenes where Chris Penn's character had to learn how to dance were added to the script because Penn really couldn't dance at all. So they had to teach him in terms of what he already knew, that being wrestling. John Lithgow also moonlighted while he was filming this movie. He shot scenes for Terms of Endearment, also from the same year, while he was on various breaks from this film. And this is the first movie that he played a preacher. The second time was in the movie Kinsey from 2004. In both movies, he's seen at the beginning of the film preaching to a congregation about the corrupt values of that period's society. During the filming of his sitcom, Third Rock from the Sun, in the episode Dr. Solomon's Traveling Alien Show, one of the characters playing a circus strongman took him aside to share a personal story with him. He confided that he was from a small town in Louisiana where his father was a Baptist minister and would not allow the kids to dance or listen to rock and roll music. He states that when he saw Footloose, he thought that John Lithgow's character was actually his father. It seemed identical and was the epitome of him after he brought his father to see the movie without any warning of its plot. His father was so touched by Lithgow's performance that his father allowed him to be the first of his six children that were permitted to attend the high school prom. Now in the movie, the role of Lulu is played by Lynn Marta. And Lynn is a widely used actress from television and film. But she has one thing that really stands out in her resume and this is not an acting credit. She was an ear witness to the murder of actress Rebecca Schaefer in 1989. Schaefer was killed by Robert John Bardo, who was a nut that was fascinated and obsessed with this actress. At that time, Schaefer was best known as the co-star of the television series My Sister Sam. Lynn Marta lived in the same apartment building with Rebecca Schaefer. She heard the shooting take place in Rebecca Schaefer's doorway and had no clue what was happening. She felt the door and the wall shake in her apartment. Her cat jumped straight into the air and she dropped to her knees and crawled into her bedroom. Not only did she hear the shots, she heard Rebecca's first scream. At that time, she called 911, and Rebecca was still screaming while she was talking to the 911 operator. After she felt that the shooting had stopped, she opened a small hatch on her door, and she could instantly smell the smell of gunfire. She could still, at the time, hear light moaning coming from Rebecca Schaefer. What a sad story this is, and Lynn Marta witnessed it all. Footloose received mixed reviews from the critics, but it became a big box office hit, grossing $80 million in North America alone. Take a look back at this film. I think you'll enjoy it. Just the music alone makes it fun. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.